Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio, a podcast for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, men and women, learn the essentials and soft scales of the strenuous life. Okay, guys, I, <laughs> for lack of really to have a better episode before we start the mini series, we are going to have a special treat. It's a cross episode with LDS Hasten. And this particular episode, for our instances, is called Search for Holiness. So, once again, here we go. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering why Jimmy hunger and thirst for holiness. I know that that sounds. There's less hunger and thirst for righteousness, yes. But righteousness, holiness is a standard beyond righteousness, okay? Now, we're going to look. Hunger and thirst for holiness. Is it possible to find that? Well, it does say in 3 Nephi chapter 12, one of the verses it says, Blessed are all those they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay. does that mean? Hunger and thirst for holiness. What is it? What is it supposed to mean? Remember what Jesus said in I would like to say, believe that righteousness and holiness are the same thing, but they're not. The hungry and thirsting for righteousness, this is just my view as a convert, okay? So please do listen carefully. Hungering and thirsting for holiness, you know what that translates toward, more towards? Well, I'm glad you're listening. Hungering and thirsting for holiness means we press forward and keep keeping the commandments. Are we willing to say yes and agree to what the Lord's called us to be, do, and have? And I'm not just talking about the secular viewpoint, okay? I'll be honest with you, our culture has become so secularized that we have lost that hunger and that thirst for holiness. So maybe say, well, Jimmy, Jimmy, you're harsh. No, I'm not harsh. The hymn itself is just more holiness given. Okay? No holiness give me, that's supposed to mean something. It means that we are to live in perfect holiness before the Lord. What does the hunger and thirsting mean? Spiritual language. Pressing forward. Obeying Christ. You know? And, and so you're like, well, Jimmy, that sounds hard, you know? I have a wife, I have, I have four kids, and I, I got this I got this job I work for you know, about 16 hours a day. How am I supposed to hold my first job for uh, homeless? Tell me something. Are you, are you honoring the Sabbath to keep it holy? Are you? 
We're bringing those who are perfect, but you know, God, God calls us. Our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, they call us to strive for perfection, for sanctification, okay? Justification means, you know, through Christ, we, we can have some righteousness. But, but listen, listen, okay? Thirsting and hungering for holiness means a lot, okay? A lot. You can't just, and, and I realize, okay, you're kind of like, well, well Jimmy does have a harsh. But we should all be hungry and thirsty for holiness, okay? You still long for a special touch of the Holy Ghost to, to receive revelation of the Lord. And we can't, we can't retain revelation from the Lord so long as we are, um, are not living as we should be before Him. You want to say, but well, do we are only saved by grace? Yes, we are. But someone that wants to be exalted, you know what I mean, Sister Dan? Listen. Okay, we're going to stop it at this point because I want to give basically my basic doctrine about this, so uh, whether my church agrees with it or not. Now, justification means that salvation is a free gift. But you still have to live, you know, as righteously as best you can. Now, sanctification, that is where you walk it out. You walk out that righteous lifestyle with holiness. Now, I know some people might judge me harshly by saying this, but listen. This is the strenuous life radio. Theodore Roosevelt, he said this, he said, The Bible, the knowledge of the Bible, is worth more than a college education. Who? I just know that I made some people angry today on that one. But it's true. And the way I'm working about it, book that's going to be published in a few years called A Sleeping America. And yeah, in, in the book there is going to be a call to go back to the Bible. Okay? There is to be a call back to that. Peter Roosevelt says it's more worth than the college education. Can I be honest with you? I'm intent to disagree, to, to agree, sorry. I'm intent to agree. Because a college education, it doesn't guarantee you success. But the Bible, the Bible has principles for success and significance. And helps you live out this strenuous life. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm having a different perspective than I would from my audience of LDS Hasten because, you know, we don't always talk about spiritual matters in, in this show. You know, we talk about entrepreneurship. We talk about chivalry. We talk about history. But, like it or not, America, this country, it has a godly heritage. And it's up to us to be on this search for holiness. To be able to talk to Him every day. Let me tell you something. I notice when I don't talk to the Lord, when I don't talk to Him, I have my Father every day. I start getting lonely. Because other than my nephew, <laughs> I pretty much live in this place by myself. 
And so, the thing is, life ain't easy. But it's not meant to be to, to be easy, okay? It's a strenuous life. And so to that extent, we need to live with some holiness. Okay? Because if we don't, if we don't listen to me, we're sunk. We don't, we don't have a chance unless we promise to live, to live holy in the whole life of holiness. Because this world, I'm going to tell you something. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt this world is corrupt. Okay? This world is corrupt. It's reactive. You remember a couple of episodes back? Past two episodes before we talked about the enemy of our souls. Well, a search for righteousness. A search for righteousness helps you find the enemy to our souls and neutralize it. A search for holiness, rather. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time that I hope you enjoyed the Strenuous Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Strenuous Life Radio family. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. Do what others don't so you can have what others can't. Think strong. Live strong. And live the strenuous life. God bless you.